Today I'm going to build this pod racer using a Mio Energy water enhancer and a couple of Brita water filters. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a stand for the pod racer. I'm using a leftover stand from my Lola Droid. The Lola Droid comes with two stands, one for flying and one with legs. My Lola is on its legs, so I'm repurposing the stand. I cut a hole slightly smaller than the stand size so that when I put the meal bottle on it's going to snap on and fit pretty snug. Then I get to work on finding greeblies and making my pod racer. What's a pod racer without a seat? The seat's going to be made off of using the head from a old electric razor that I had laying around. I just removed all of the guts from the head, the spring, and the teeth. Then I glued a little cap from a USB stick onto the front. I cut the cap off of the Mio bottle and I'm going to glue it on the bottom side of the bottle or what's now going to be the back. The cool thing about using something like this is this was fruit punch so it actually had a pleasant smell while making this. That's the upside. The bottle has a very very uh, rounded shape so there was a huge gap between the seat and the base so I mixed up some epoxy sculpt and I'm filling in all of those little areas that just the gaps just didn't look good. This epoxy sculpt is probably going on five years old. I still have half a jar. Now moving on to some greeblies. I found an old episode one game at a thrift store a few months back. I was going to paint up all the figures and never got around to painting all the droids. This is one of the flying droids from that uh, game. So I took the wings and I cut them in half so that gave me four pieces. I'm going to use two here for the top and then I'm going to take the other two and I'm going to put them on the bottom to give it kind of like a sled look. I'm gluing these in place while the epoxy sculpt is actually still semi uh, pliable so it allows me to push the pieces into the epoxy sculpt if I want to. Each piece of plastic is probably some different uh, type of plastic. I'm using super glue for almost everything here and in some cases it just does not want to hold well. A little bit of sanding does help. A lot of the spray to instant set definitely helps but when you use the instant set spray and use too much of it the super glue will actually it kind of builds up so I use the X-Acto knife to scrape away any of that excess. Now I'm taking a piece of styrene and doing my attempt of adding just a little extra greebly to the front. I'm not going to go overboard with adding greeblies to this because pod racers are supposed to be very basic. And so I, it's not going to have a lot of detail, just enough to take away from the fact that it's an old bottle. So now I'm taking the body and the head and figuring out whether or not I'm going to use the head. It didn't quite fit well so I'm going to use just the body and I'm going to put that in front of the seat. My goal is to at this point come up with some type of handlebars to control the pod racer and attach them to this piece here. So get it sanded up a little bit, glue it in place, 
And now I found one of the destroyer droids. So I destroyed the destroyer droid. I cut it into pieces. This is the head and body minus the arms and legs that I am using to attach the back of the pod racer to the chair. Because it has a mechanical look on the, the body and the head, it kind of adds a little bit of detail that looks mechanical, which is cool for the pod racer. The legs also came in handy because the back, the little bulb on the back, well, it, it works. It just seemed a little lacking. So I'm going to glue the legs onto that. And try not to glue myself to the bottle while doing this. Luckily, I'm still wearing the gloves from when I was working with the epoxy sculpt. Otherwise, there would probably be pieces of my finger glued to the bottle. Moving on to the engines. These are Brita water pitcher filters. We change these out every couple months and... Uh, I'm just sanding off the Brita name off of them. They already have kind of an engine look to them. I cut those four holes are where the water comes through the filter. I cut the screen out of those and emptied out all of the media on the inside. These probably sat for about a month drying after they were used so the media was completely dry already but even when dry it's pretty heavy these weigh next to nothing after you remove that stuff these end pieces that i'm adding they are from dollar store screwdriver kits the screwdriver kits are kind of crappy they don't really work well but the cases are awesome for making different things the greeblies that you can use these for are just awesome. Here I'm just pumping some hot glue in on a tongue depressor to get my two engines in line with each other. Now the engines I want to have a little bit of more detail on so I'm taking some styrene here and I'm going to make little engine flaps that are going to go on the outside edge. I'm going to use three flaps per engine. I'm just cutting a little rounded edge on the front of the flaps. These are going to go lengthwise along the engine. I drew some radiuses using my little circle tool and then I'm just hand cutting these out. Once I get those glued in place, they didn't quite conform to the the shape of the Brita bottles or the Brita filters so I'm going to take some air foam dry clay and I'm just going to build up like this like the whole thing's been welded cobbled together this giant weld seam that goes all the way around where the tongue depressor is. Moving on to painting my first attempt was to airbrush after painting with a black primer outside, I have this apple barrel yellow gold that I mixed up, but my airbrush failed on me and I will have to address that later. I moved on to painting by hand. Here I'm painting the engines. Everything's gonna be basically this yellow color with an accent of a metallic black except for the seat which I actually painted with a leather paint that I have kind of looks like a dark leather brown I thought that was kind of cute to have he's gonna have a much com a very comfortable seat while racing 
This took three coats of paint on the engines. And even with the primer, I still need to let the paint sit for longer than I'm used to because if you don't, you'll end up pulling the paint off rather than adding paint. Here I glue the tongue dispressor to a little found piece off of my air compressor. <clears throat> and then I start to attach the pod to the engines. The wires that attach the pods to the engines are just leftover Bowden tube from changing out the hot end on my 3D printer. And then inside is, I think it's called mannequin wire. It's the wire used for making like claymation figures. Here is the finished pod racer sitting on my desk. I think it came out pretty good. I added some weathering. Definitely could have added more, but I decided to stop where I did. And as Aaron from Terrains by Aaron likes to say, it's time for the glamour shots. Hope you enjoyed my build. I look forward to the next one. Thanks for watching. And if you're not already subscribed and made it this far, it helps the channel out if you would subscribe. Thanks again.